Well, Brendan, today's the day, man. It's like, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a late Christmas present or an early Christmas present, but... Uh, it's a pretty darn exciting one. It's though. an exciting <laughs> one. I, uh, I, yeah. I actually couldn't even really sleep last night, and I have no problem sleeping ever. Yeah. New engines. Uh, new electronics on the boat with the Hellmaster system. GA has done a phenomenal job servicing real west coast. You guys uh, have kept in contact with us. I've seen photos, yeah. plenty of photos. Chris has been sending them through, but I haven't actually seen the boat in person for a couple months now. And now we get to go out, water test it, get everything dialed in. I am, I'm, I'm over the moon. We're stoked. It was, it was a great project to basically take this, uh, this Kingfisher completely outfit again. Um, with some new Yamaha 250 4.2 liters yeah. and also the full Helm Master system, which basically just makes it just a dream to operate. Um, <laughs> it's going to be great for those halibut holes. It's oh. going to be great for kind of getting out <laughs> there know. and and just uh, looking for looking forward to a great fishing season this year, uh, powered by Yamaha. So we got the brand new power on the boat, the yeah. 250s, uh, Yamaha V6s. I mean, tons of horsepower for this boat, yeah. right? We'll be able to get up and, and step on it and and uh, get to places we need to get up and down the coast and I, I, I know they're super fuel efficient and, and they're powerful all, and, and they're not that loud so all those things that uh, that you want as, as an outdoorsman or a yeah. boat right well we always want an outboard that works good but man when it looks good and um, the white really does fit on this on this kingfisher 30 it really works well so well i appreciate everything no, bro, you guys have up. done we're, man we're so happy to yeah. be on board so let's go <laughs>
or you're going to set all your waypoints yeah. and you're simply going to hit track point. Now the boat is going to follow the path see it right that the MFD is setting. So you and know you're engaged there with that line obviously on there, right? Correct. And the one thing that this does very nicely is the, the heading sensor that we have on this will see every minute change and it's not going to drift off of that line it's wow. going to get you on that line it's just going to it's going to take you. it doesn't matter what the wind's doing what the current what the current's wind. doing it's it's not it's not going to be overcompensating you, you'll find the first long trip you do absolute game changer and, and that is obviously huge in like fuel efficiency right like a lot of times if you're yeah. manually steering your boat i mean you think you're in a straight line and you're yeah. constantly veering off but having autopilot is is is, it, uh, is phenomenal it's it's just like I say, it's going to be on your most efficient route. You're not going to be you're not going to be putting in extra time just compensating yeah. for it. Um, it also just takes a bit of the focus away. Now it's not it's not autonomous, right? It's yeah. not going to compensate for uh, uh, you know debris in the water. Yeah. Um, so so it's not a replacement for a captain. You yeah. still got to be aware. You got to pay attention. But, but it, at least you can take a bit of the stress away from constantly uh, being on the stick. You got your DEC. Yeah. Um, the nice thing we have on these now is speed control. Mm -hmm. So you've got troll control and speed control right on the stick. So if you're real particular about fishing, right, you can, and what does that adjust the RPMs by? Is it like by 10? Uh, well, when it's paired with, uh, with Helm Master, it's actually going to take into account GPS speed. Oh, wow. So you can set your GPS speed. Okay. You, you, can, you can take this to a lake and set it at 0.5 mile an hour and troll a, troll a leech through a lake for rainbow trout with this thing if you really want to. <laughs> wow. Because it will just, automatically shift the, the engines in and out of gear mm. to maintain speed if it's below idle speed. Right, right. Um, But you can also use it at cruising speed. You're at 30 mile an hour, you know you have 30, 30 miles to cover, you can set it at 30 mile an hour and you know it's gonna take you one hour to get there. And it will automatically compensate the RPM to maintain that GPS speed. Because again, now everything is tied into a GPS. Right. With, with the touchless stick, now you can control the shift, the throttle, the steering, you can operate the motors independently and you can have more control of your boat than you've ever had before. At a touch, I can bring us to a stop. If we're in a tight marina, I can simply twist it and the, marina's gonna, the boat is gonna swing on its axis. Wow. If I wanted to get us closer to a crab trap, let's say, simply push it sideways yeah. it's going to put one motor in forward one into reverse it's going to articulate the steering it's independently walks it and now it's just going to walk us yeah. sideways wow and, so, so, and obviously we got a little breeze out here today but i mean yeah. it just works right through that breeze no problem well and even that if it gets breezier there's a plus and a minus on the stick you can ramp it up in five different level increments increase your rpm yeah correct so when you're coming into a dock you want it a little less sensitive you drop that level down yeah that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that is handy. I mean, like you, you think about how many times you come into a marina and you're a little bit nervous maybe on the sticks, but you gotta yeah. be a little, you gotta finesse it in there a little bit and you're yeah. fighting some current. Like, I mean, obviously you gotta get the hang of that and get used to it, but once you get that dialed in, I'm sure it's just like. Exactly. Instead of you planning a drift into a slip yeah. and then you back it up, you go to the slip, you stop. You twist the boat, you stop. You line it up and you enter your slip. Yeah. You, you, you're just going in direct lines. Like, correct. Huh. Correct. It, 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 sim it really simplifies the, the situation, especially in a tight slip and especially with any kind of current or wind. Right. Okay, so when you're side shifting, it's going to put one in forward and one in reverse, and it's going to change the geometry on the steering to set the center of balance at the center of the boat. And you're, you're counteracting the forward motion and the reverse motion. Now the boat can only go sideways. And while you're in this motion, the side shifting motion, I can actually twist the, the stick and I'm going to bring the bow around. It's going to bias the forward motor. It's bringing the bow around now. I can twist it back the other way. It's going to bring the stern around. So I can still control right. the vessel while we're shifting sideways. I can pull back a little bit. Now it's going to bias it backwards. It's going to line us up backwards a little bit in reverse. That's awesome. It's, it's, it's a very, very intuitive system once you understand how that stick works. Now, yeah. beyond the manual control of the joystick, you have three autonomous functions. Stay point is going to take into account your current heading and your current position, and it's gonna make the boat match both, okay? I wanna check this reef, this is what we're doing, okay? 
It's so check- great for like, I mean, guys that like to halibut fish or if you're cool. ling caught or any type of jigging. Well, imagine being able to check the reef before you have to set that line, long line anchor. Right. Right. You can actually see if there's fish here. So now I'm going to check. Guess what? There's no fish here. I'm going to tap the, the joystick over. It's going to now move me 10 feet over. Right. Keep me on this heading. It's going to put me 10 feet over. Now I can check a different spot in the reef. Okay. So here we have position and heading. That's, set, that's stay point. We'll switch it to fish point. Yeah. Now it's going to only keep track of position, regardless of heading. It's going to figure out that if I put the bow into the wind or into the current, it's going to be a more efficient, there's going to be much less shift events on the motor. It'll allow the boat to pivot, um, and you can set the pivot point as the bow or the stern, whichever you like. It's all done on the CL5 gauge up front. But wherever you set it, it's going to be that way every time you hit the button. It'll allow the boat to pivot, but keep you in this position. So if you're waiting for a gas stock, for right. example, you're waiting for a boat launch to clear up, you can just set that, you can sit back and relax, keep an eye on your surroundings, but the boat's gonna take care of itself. It's just holding you there. It's just holding you there. As that, you can like see, we twisted that's, a that's bit. That's huge for waiting for a gas at a dock sometimes. It's, and people are, you know, doing the dance all yep. over and over. And I mean, yep. you can kind of just park yourself out of the way. Exactly. Hey, I'm just gonna stay right here, I'm good. And Exactly. The last one, so we had heading and position, yeah. position only, the last one, drift point, is heading only. Now it doesn't care about position. It just cares that we're on this heading. Now it's going to let us drift. You're, you're pointed in this direction, right. but you could be drifting this way, right. and it's just not going to let the boat swing. So if you've got five guys back here jigging, your lines aren't going to get tangled because the boat's not swinging. So you're just going to go off of basically where the current's pushing or where the wind's pushing, but Correct. you can keep that boat on that heading. Correct. Right? That's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> I don't know how many times I've been. It's, you're out there in certain currents or whatever, and you got guys fishing over here. And next thing you know, this guy thinks he's got a fish, but, yeah. but it's this guy's line that's under the boat. Because the whole boat you're is fighting just each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So between those three, and that's just a one touch button on the, on the stick. Wow. And as soon as you want to take over again, you want to go find another spot, you grab the stick. Put it in gear. It takes it out of joystick. Yeah. You now you now have control of the boat. So that supersedes everything, overrides Co everything. Correct. Yeah. Correct. You have a single lever control here. When you push single lever, now both engines are controlled off the port stick. So you get the starboard stick out of the way. Now you've got one touch control. So you're doing long distance. So you don't need to. Sinks the engines. So they're running at the same RPM. And, correct. Yeah. And they're they're doing the exact same shift events, um, off a single stick. You also have trim assist that you can set up. So you were doing um, your ride system. You kind of have a similar system on your engines, but you don't want to supersede two systems, right? But you can set it up so at different RPMs, the, the motors will automatically be trimmed at a certain point. Right, right. Yeah, so a lot of times when I get out offshore or, or inshore when I'm fishing, I'll go down to one engine. Okay. And uh, one of the things we've been asked is, does this system work off of one engine? Uh, when, you're, when you have a twin engine application, as soon as you go to one engine, the system wants both running. Yeah. But you can install this on a single engine application. You're still going to get all of the joystick functions. You're going to get the fish point and drift point functions where it can control either position or heading. Yeah. Without two engines, it can't do both at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Um, other than that, all the functions that we talked about, you can get on a single engine. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you got everyone covered. All, all, all kinds of boat sizes, right? Well, it goes up to five. We, we'll, we'll do five engines, like in Florida. We, got, we'll, we can do up to five. Jeez. Yeah. yeah and I when did. you've got our new 450s, you don't, if you need more than five, it's a different boat. <laughs> it's a different boat. You got 2,500 horse or whatever, yeah. 2,250. Yeah, yeah, you're getting places quick. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Hey, no, I appreciate uh, kind of getting the rundown. And, and like anything, you just got to keep uh, using it and, and working through it but um, I mean you explained it so precisely and yeah. your best practice is we get near a buoy yeah and you just get on the joystick and now you start you start testing to see how close you can get to that buoy without touching it you can wrap it around you can do a donut around a buoy just mm. to feel the control and the precision without that reference point out here it's really hard to see how effective it really is right that's your best pra practice point yeah ease of operation and uh, huge safety features and, and uh, <laughs> game changing. It's a game changing system yeah. for guys that want to catch fish. I yeah. mean, I'm just thinking in my head here going out offshore and, and uh, you know, I love to troll, I love the salmon fish, but I, you know, I love catching halibut, I love catching lingcod, black hot, all that stuff. And yeah. this is exactly what we do. We go to, go to areas and we try to find 
you know, reefs and, and certain points that you want to drift across, right? So if you can get over top of that area and set your, you know, your heading or your course and you can get across that area, it just makes it so much more efficient. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for that rundown, man. No I, problem, uh, man. That's great. Yeah. I can't wait to, to christen it with a couple of fish. <laughs> well, welcome to Team Yamaha. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm excited, man.